is it good enough? Does it represent me? Does it represent my brand? Is it too long? Is it too short? Should I keep this clip in? Should I take this clip out? People have questions all the time. My top three tips for a kick-ass reel. Hi there, Jody Bentley here, actor, producer, and career coach. And today I wanna to talk about your reel. Now I get asked questions all the time about reels from my clients. Is it good enough? Does it represent me? Does it represent my brand? Is it too long? Is it too short? Should I keep this clip in? Should I take this clip out? People have questions all the time. And what I find um, is that the reel can always be tightened to really make it compelling, to really have maximum in impact, and to really be competitive. And I find myself repeating the same things over and over again. So I wanted to share with you my top three tips for a kick-ass reel. So my tip number one is make it about you. I don't care if Meryl Streep was in the scene with you. I don't care if Vince Vaughn was in the scene with you. I don't care if Elizabeth Moss was in the scene with you. Don't make it about them. We can see them. Of course, it'll cut back to them if you're having a dialogue. But so many times I feel people focus on the other people in the scene. And even if they're not famous people, we focus on other people in the scene, right? I think people tend to just throw the scene they got up there without any internal edits to it. But you, my friend, get to make the reel about you. This is your reel. I, it gets to start with your face. The focus gets to be you. I don't care about the plot of the scene or the story that you're telling. That's not that important. Yes, I get to see you go on some kind of arc if it's a long scene, but you gotta trim it. We gotta trim it down, use the best of the best, but make it all about you. That way there's no question who's real it is. Sometimes clients show me they're real and it starts with someone else. It focuses on them in the scene and it can be very confusing. So tip number one, always, 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 always make it about you. Tip number two, use the work that you are the most proud of and that you feel showcases you the best and what you sell in your niche and your brand. Now, when I say work that you're proud of, yeah, I mean, you're acting, right? You want to be proud of, of the acting work that you do. But I also mean proud of the quality, proud of the, the lighting, the sound, the caliber of the piece, right? Proud of it in general. If you watch it and you go, oh, I don't know, don't use it. There'll be more things. Shoot something on your own. Do a self-tape that can fill that void for now and have that as a separate clip that you could use to submit, right? Don't just pad the reel with everything you've ever done. Pad it with the work that you are proud of. And if that is two things right now, then that is how long your reel is. It is two clips long and it might be 30 seconds. That is okay. You are where you are and that is awesome. You don't have to pad it to make it look like there's more material or just it's not about quantity, right? We really want to use the work that you are proud of. And tip number three really talking about order of clips because I get this question a lot. So think of the reel as your trailer, right? You go to a movie, you get the trailer of the movie, right? We see that as, as advertising for the movie. And it, it draws you in, it's compelling. We get right away what this movie is about. Then it might take a couple twists and turns and we go, oh, that's compelling. Same thing for you, for the reel. If this reel is the trailer of you, the tr your little mini movie about who you are, then hook me in to let me know what this movie is about. Hook me in with two clips that are the most brand-centric clips that you have. That's your pocket. That's your niche. That, that fits you like a glove. Hook me in with that so I go, ooh, I get it. Oh, I get what she does, right? So hook me in with that. Then surprise me. Then have the, the plot twist, right? Then show me something different. So if your focus is comedy and you know you have dry, sarcastic comedy, lead with a couple of those clips if you have them. And then show me the drama. Show me something else, right? But remember Remember that it's your trailer. Hook me in, show me what you do best, then surprise me. So I really invite you to take these three tips to heart as you are crafting and building your reel because this is where you really get to shine and showcase yourself specifically to agents and managers and for the people who visit your website, right? Again, that reel is the trailer of you. You're going to use it as a sales tool to land the team to sell you. So let's make it the most compelling and the most competitive that we can.
All right, I trust this helps. Let me know any questions you have and uh, I will see you next time. All right, bye.